I want to very briefly go over how an attacker would try to exploit the OODA vulnerabilities in the hopes that it gives you a little bit more insight about how the vulnerabilities occur in the first place. So I'm going to introduce stack grooming or stack feng shui to contrast it against the heap grooming that you've already seen in the previous class. And so in this case, the attacker knows that there exists a path in the code where down some particular function call trace, it's going to ultimately use uninitialized data. So the attacker's goal is to follow some other control flow path that allows them to set attacker controlled data on the stack at the exact offset that they know will be used for OODA access later. So if we can imagine that, for instance, there was one control flow path, main calls function five, calls function six, calls OODA get, and this OODA get reads from the stack at th this particular offset and they read uninitialized data, now the attacker's target is to make sure they can set that exact location on the stack to acid. So let's imagine that you know they're calling main and main calls function one and that calls function two and that calls function three and then function three returns and then function two returns and then function four is called and then now the attacker sees some function that they can feed acid into that will put their acid on the stack exactly at the target location for OODA access later. Then that function, the setter function, will return, but that will still be set on the stack. And then F4 returns, and then F1 returns, and then F5 is called, and then F6 is called. And then the OODA get function is accessing uninitialized data that the attacker has successfully filled in with acid, and that's going to go kaboom. So that's what we saw in the trivial example, but this is just, you know, to say generically, the more complicated the code, it's all about, you know, how deep in the stack frame does the attacker have to go to set the data at the right location for the eventual stack frame that has an OODA access. Now I want to quickly contrast heap grooming and heap feng shui in the context of the original heap overflows versus OODA access. So in the original thing, the attacker would set these yellow values. They were things that the attacker didn't necessarily control, but they were just trying to influence the filling in of the heap. Then they would cause a selective deallocation to create a gap. They would let the victim allocation fill in the gap. And this is the data that would subsequently be overwritten. Then they cause an adjacent deallocation of some vulnerable buffer that they know they can overflow. And when they eventually overflow the vulnerable buffer, it will overflow into the victim data, which will subsequently be using acid instead of the clean data. So in contrast, when you're doing heap grooming in the context of OODA vulnerabilities, the attacker knows that eventually there's going to be some access to uninitialized data on the heap. So they would instead try to fill in all attacker controlled value. They could cause some selective deallocations to once again let the uh, victim data fall in there. So the selective deallocation will of course start out as uninitialized, but we know that behind the scenes it's really still acid values. So if the location right here is what's going to be used as uninitialized later, the legitimate code may initialize some of the data, but then it forgot to initialize all of it, and so it's going to access this bit right here. And behind the scenes, that bit right there still has whatever acid value the attacker had filled in on the heap, and therefore that is going to be using malicious values. And then when we go back to the concept of heap sprays, we said that in a lot of cases for doing heap overflows, heap sprays were not necessarily uh, the best strategy, but here they're a really good strategy. You can just fill in all sorts of acid on the heap and free all of that acid on the heap. And then eventually when the victim is trying to use something anywhere on the heap, it's going to be acid. So if there's uninitialized access of some allocation from anywhere, if the attacker filled in all those allocations with acid, then it'll be acid use for an OODA vulnerability. So enough of the background, let's go see some real vulnerabilities.